How's it going everyone? My name is Maximilian, and in just under a month, two of the biggest fighting game franchises of all time are about to collide. Join us for a multi-video series that'll cover everything you need to know before Street Fighter Cross Tekken hits the streets. You're watching Episode 1 of Crossover. In Crossover, we're going to break down all the new game-changing system mechanics, modes, combos, and then put them together to demonstrate how you apply these in a real match. There's a lot to Street Fighter Cross Tekken that you'll need to be ready for, and I'm here to help. But before we get into all this, let's take a quick look back and find what the last decade and a half of fighting game rivalries has led us to the showdown of the Iron Fist and the Street Fighter. Tekken first appeared in the fighting game scene back in 1994. At the time, its rivals were very few other 3D fighters, as this 3D plane style of fighting was still very new. But seven years before Tekken existed, Street Fighter had been making a name for itself. Dominating the 16-bit era, the Street Fighter 2 series already led the way with multiple titles on multiple systems. But Street Fighter kept evolving, and with it came the Alpha series and Street Fighter 3. But Namco wasn't going to sit idly by and watch, for they had something special planned, and it was one of the most beloved and well-recepted games of the 32-bit era. Tekken 3 was considered to be one of the greatest games of the PlayStation and the best fighting game of its time. Things began to get interesting, and the 2D versus 3D arguments began, with the 3D enthusiasts getting the back of Tekken, and the 2D fans riding the wave of Street Fighter. But where could things go from here? It wasn't until the introduction of the Versus series, where both Marvel and SNK fighters went toe-to-toe -to -toe against the armies of Street Fighter and Capcom. Many were left curious and wondering if the Iron Fist and the Street Fighter would ever get their chance in the ring. And for over 10 years, the rivalry grew. And now, in 2012, we're faced with one of the largest fighting game crossovers in history. But Street Fighter Cross Tekken is looking to add something new to the table. While it's a tag team 3D engine but 2D gameplay system, it will appear pretty similar to its Street Fighter 4 predecessor. But looks can be deceiving. Street Fighter Cross Tekken integrates several unique and critical system changes from that of Street Fighter 4. The first and most obvious difference is the tag team mechanic. While it shares a similarity to Versus games in the past, Street Fighter Cross Tekken's tag team mechanics system more resembles that of Namco's Tekken Tag Tournament. You have two characters that can execute and assist with attacks, but if a single one gets KO'd, it's counted as a single round loss. To avoid a quick and speedy knockout, tag in your other partner by pressing medium punch and medium kick at the same time. Tag them out as soon as possible to recover some of their sub health. This is also fairly similar to that of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where your non-point character will recover red health in the background. Another huge difference from the original Street Fighter 4 engine is the inclusion of tech rolling. Rolling is another new mechanic unique to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And while it shares similarities with its Tekken counterpart, it's used in this game much differently. If you happen to eat an uppercut or are hit out of the air, you're gonna fall to the ground fast. But now you're given three options on Wake Up. Leave the joystick or control pad neutral and you'll get up regularly. Press down as soon as you hit the ground and you'll quickly get up. And hold forward after the knockdown to roll forward. This is significantly different than Street Fighter 4, as many mix-up opportunities came after you knocked down your opponent and they could not move from that position. But the entire portion of your recovery roll is invincible. That's right, you cannot be hit or thrown out of the recovery. However, if you predict the role of your opponent, it can lead to a very tricky cross-up situation that can be difficult to block for most characters. Wall bounces in Street Fighter Cross Tekken open up many more combo possibilities and allow for some unique setups to take advantage of new system mechanics. They're fairly similar to previous Street Fighter iteration wall bounces, mainly those from Street Fighter 3. In most situations, they're actually EX moves that require an extra meter. But meter gain and the use of your super meter is another topic we'll get into in a little bit. But there are several similarities to that of the old Street Fighter 4 formula. For example, throwing is still performed by pressing light punch and light kick near your opponent. 
To escape throws, it's performed in the same fashion. Press light punch and light kick again and you'll tech the throw. And while this is similar to Street Fighter 4, the overall mechanic of throwing feels a little bit different. What I've found is that throw ranges for most characters have been nearly cut in half, which means you'll have to be directly next to your character to perform a throw. If you happen to catch the beginning animation of some moves, it'll extend the throw range. But since normal throw range has been heavily reduced, it makes the characters that have command grabs much more effective towards their grappling playstyle. And to demonstrate, here's an example of the throw ranges of Abel, Zangif, and Hugo's light command throws. <laughs> But if your playstyle is less about grabbing and more about punching and kicking, you'll need to learn how to link your normal moves together. Links or linking is another commonly used Street Fighter term. An example of a link is performing Ryu's crouching medium into another crouching medium for a two-hit combo. The amount of hit stun from a crouching medium is great enough for the move to reset and perform another crouching medium. Of course this is just an example, but you can link many other normal moves together in Street Fighter Cross Tekken to extend your damage. This is another mechanic that's very similar to Street Fighter 4. The other method of comboing and connecting your normal attacks together is called a chain. And the universal chain system in this game is performed by pressing light, medium, into heavy. Street Fighter Cross Tekken players, both new and veteran, are given these options to extend damage. But as we'll discuss in a later episode, combining both these system mechanics together is what you'll want to be using to get the most damage out of your combos. But how you play Street Fighter Cross Tekken will be heavily influenced by the characters you choose and the teams you make. The Street Fighter side of the cast will seem very familiar to any of you who played the previous series of Street Fighter 4. Special moves, EXs, and certain combos will perform very similar. And you might even find some new additions and moves to characters that you had not seen before. But if you choose a character from the Tekken side of the cast, things are going to feel much different. For the greater majority, Tekken characters don't have fireballs and they don't have charge moves. But they're given an array of tools to deal with unique abilities of Street Fighters. A large majority of Tekken characters have evasive moves that can dodge both physical and fireball attacks. And if you happen to come across their command list, you'll quickly realize that the average Tekken character has two to three times more special attacks than your average Street Fighter. What they also have are unique chain combos and strings different from that present in the original system. All Street Fighter and Tekken characters get their basic light, medium, heavy chain, but all the Tekken characters have access to these unique four-button chains which are very similar to that of the original Tekken system. Some of these can be very damaging and very effective for mid-combos or block strings. And while these characters do feel similar to their Tekken origins, they end up being one of the most interesting aspects of Street Fighter Cross Tekken because they don't feel or play like any of the Street Fighters and are completely unique to this style of a 2D fighting game. And that'll just about conclude the first episode of Crossover. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned, as in the next episode we'll be covering the unique system mechanics of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, including the Cross Rush, the Cross Assault, and Cross Arts. And we'll also go into detail how important meter usage is and how effectively you'll need to use it. For further Street Fighter Cross Tekken and fighting game coverage, you can find me at youtube.com slash miles923 or follow me on Twitter. But thank you very much for watching the video. This has been Maximilian, and I'll see you next time on Crossover.